Small-scale farmers in Kiambu are embracing a blend of greenhouse farming and mulching as a way to cut costs, save water and improve crop yields. One such farmer in this county says the approach has transformed her work and income. On this week's Smart Farm, our reporter Dennis Otieno takes us to that firm to see how this integration is working and why agripreneurs believe it could be a game changer. The morning in rural Kiambu is cool and overcast, with little warmth reaching the open fields where crops struggle. But inside Monica Tairo's wooden greenhouse, rows of vibrant capsicum stretch neatly along nylon mulched lined beds. <laughs> Ukipatia maji asubuhi inaweka na kitu na mimea inakuwa sawa. Imenisaidia kwa sababu hakuna wadudu wanakuja kwa greenhouse iko poa kabisa. Kwa sababu maji ukipatia tu inaweka hapo. Haiendi pahali e, na inakuwa greenhouse inakuwa smart. Monica started using the combination of greenhouse farming and mulching just last month. A decision, she says, was driven by the need to save water and protect her crops from pests. The mulch traps moisture in the soil, meaning she only needs to water twice a day. I have a lot of ideas because I have a lot of ideas here. Now, if I come here, I can get the water, then I will end up. It will reduce the cost. Hata maji mereduce. Kwa sababu kifungulia kidogo asubui na jioni. The use of greenhouse and mulching film are being spearheaded by AgriPlant Kenya, a farm supporting small-scale growers in making climate-smart farming technologies. There was need for go away a um, rather method of using very minimal water, that is saving on water, saving on labor in terms of uh, uh, in terms of weeding, and also in terms of maintaining, controlling uh, uh, pests and diseases. So we saw a need to introduce controlled environment, rather greenhouse farming. And going further on, you know, we're using mulching uh, as a technology to uh, to complement, you know, uh, the farming uh, process. Founder Derek Mugodo says the approach uses locally available materials to keep costs down while extending the lifespan of the structures. The, the reason as to why we are using this nylon uh, mulching is because of it's very long lasting, and you see you are conserving up to uh, 60 percent of the water. So you see, it's really saving on water. And also it's, it's helping us also to control some of the pests because you see it's now covering the area around the crop. So just one, that, that one farmer is able to maintain this greenhouse effortlessly. Before installing the greenhouse, Monica farmed entirely in the open field, a method that left her exposed to unpredictable weather, pests and high labor costs. Now, she says she does most of the work herself without hiring extra hands and the savings are significant. Greenhouse farming and mulching are among many agroecological techniques widely practiced in several counties across the country. All this alongside crop rotation, composting, agroforestry and water recycling. In Monica's case, the focus is on high value crops like capsicum. She says the quality from her greenhouse meets market standards and is already attracting buyers even before harvest. Nipendezo kwa hoho kwa sababu iko na nini? Quality yao hata pahali naweza weza kuzipeleka iko na market. Iko na market sana. We have helped her save much on, 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 in terms of maintenance. So uh, just a rough estimate. I realize she was using uh, she was using around uh, around 4,000 on weeding, but you see right now, she's the one who is doing that. So in the long run, she's saving the maintenance costs and also in terms of inputs when it comes to uh, controlling the pest. Back in Kiambu, Monica says she's already planning to expand her greenhouse space. 
For her, the blend of greenhouse farming and mulching isn't just a new method, it's a new way of life. Denis Otieno, Smart Farm.